Good morning, everybody. Uh, Father Peter here. This is my weekly video blog. It is a cold Friday morning here on the fifth week of Lent, and I'm standing here in front of a warm fireplace, and I'm standing here uh, in front of a beautiful crucifix that is in our library here at St. Mark's. The crucifix was uh, sculpted by Doris Caesar, a well-known sculptor of nearly a century ago now, and her son, Harry Caesar, was also a sculptor and member here as his wife, Allison, still is. And I'm standing in front of uh, or next to this sculpture uh, with the message that for everything there is a season, and we have been in our Lenten season, but we are coming to the season of Holy Week. Now, uh, if you're following along in the Revised Common Lectionary on the daily readings for Jesus, uh, or the daily readings, one of the things you can see is Jesus' life is getting more and more and more intense. The opposition is building. And in fact, in the reading this morning, Jesus escapes the grip of the hands uh, as they, they, they declare his blasphemy and seek to grab hold of him. And yet he escapes and goes back down to the Jordan River before he comes back up for Palm Sunday. Which brings me to this. This Sunday is the Sunday of the Passion so-called Palm Sunday, and it is, of course, the time when we read the Passion narrative, and we'll do that at the 8 o'clock service, the 10 o'clock service, and the 5 o'clock service. Uh, and in the power of holiness, I encourage you to come and be a part of the reading of the Passion and the following along of Jesus' life. It is depressing. There is no way around it. Jesus' life, I mean, Jesus is killed, and he is slaughtered, and it's an awful, awful but it's very important that we enter into the passion of our Lord because it's through the passion of our Lord that we arrive in Easter. And if we take the shortcut and try to skip, skip it and move right to Easter, the truth is the only one who's deprived is you and me and any of us who skip it because it's by entering into the drama of our salvation, we, we are able to name it and claim it and experience it as our own. So this Sunday, the Sunday of the Passion, which leads, of course, to Good Friday. I hope you'll come uh, and be a part of that here or wherever you are in the, in the country or in the world. Go find a church. Go in and get on your knees and enter your Lord's life. God bless you. Thank you.